You're on your Feel Good Breakfast show on S3. And right here, my lovely, we specialize in making you feel good. And this is why we're here to celebrate people who are making us feel good. One such person is Maremo. It is on TikTok where you find that content creators aren't just there for entertainment. No, my lovely. It is all about self-expression and discovery. And with the hashtag TikTok Discover Yourself, content creators are actually able to find new hobbies. Also, dive into their unique identities. And Maremo is someone who has come to be known as a musician who is getting into what we call ama violin. You're going to learn more about it in a bit, but let's give him a feel good welcome. Everyone, it's Maremo. <laughs> Maremo, how are you, honey? I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing. Thank you. What you do? It is so unique. Thank you so much. So special. And I want to ask you, you know, you come from a family that has a musical background. Who was the musical people there? Was it your parents or their performers? Who was it? My aunt. My oh. aunt was an opera singer. Oh, wow. But then my grandparents, everyone actually sings in the family, but my aunt is the one who took the professional route, as mm. well as my two cousins. Yes. They did like a lot of choral music and choirs and stuff. So, yeah. That's incredible. And what made you decide you want to go into, you know, like a musical content creation? I like making covers. Mm. So for me to post on social media, it's a thing of... When I make my music, when I record in my room, it makes me feel happy. Aww. So I want to share that happiness with other people. That's and why I got into like TikTok and yeah. And you're sharing it so beautifully, Maremo. It's so cool because you fusing like music, even ama piano and bringing in a classical violin. That's why I say it's so unique. But where did you get to that point where you were like, okay, cool, this actually works? So it all started with me um, looking at other content creators from America and the UK and they were playing like American music. That's how I started. But then it got to a point where I was like, OK, Marama, what are the chances of people in South Africa listening to that kind of music? Mm. So let's try something else. Let's try the South African music. Let's yeah. see how the, the crowd would re respond to it because I want it to be relatable. Yeah. This is an instrument that is considered to be white. Yeah. So they would expect me to play classical music. But then I was like, yo, let's let's break the boundaries. Love that. Yeah. So you decided to add some South African spice to some make spice, it nice. Some norox. No, no, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but on top of that, you've now created this whole other genre. I'm a violin. Unexpectedly. Right? Yeah. Uh, now talk to me about this, because of course it is you taking the time to put these together, record it, and then post it. And you could have posted on any sort of, you know, social media platform, but you chose TikTok. When did your TikTok journey particularly start? And what made you even decide that you want to go in that direction? So um, TikTok, I think I started around 2020. Sure. I was still, it was still COVID. I was mm. in my room. I had nothing to do. And yeah, so TikTok gives you, that allows you to be yourself, mm. you know? It allows you to be yourself. You can express yourself. There's no judgment there. You can look your crustiest and <laughs> everyone is not going to focus on that. That's They'll focus true. on what you're doing. So I just love that about TikTok. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? This is the way to go. And how did you go about finding your niche? Because of course, you know, there's like music, TikTok and everything. But for you to actually find your niche to be like, okay, this is something that is 100% unique to me. And even in music, TikTok, I'm going to stand out. How did that journey go about? So um, with music, I think one of the most important things that we need to take into consideration is that your sound is what matters, mm. you know, because everybody can play the same thing, but how you sound is what's going to make you stand out. Yes. So as I mentioned earlier, I wanted, it makes me feel happy. Mm. So I wanted to share that with people. Good. When I start playing and I say, sweet, and you, and <laughs> you understand, <laughs> so yes. that's, that's when now with the ama piano thing it was like okay not everybody's doing this i haven't seen any other content creator in the music category mm. doing ama piano on violin that was like okay my cats you know ping 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 yes so, yeah. i love that then swing <laughs> is that your slogan my name is maremo swing no. <laughs> <laughs> i love that though but now also i think that a lot of people sometimes like to like look through a whole lot of different things mm -hmm. before they find out like okay cool this is how i'm gonna fit into this niche or i'm gonna fit into this side of tiktok did you do a lot of research or did you just put stuff out there and you wanted to just see how it works i just put it out there I like that. Because I did, I did, yo, I did so many 
different songs. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a versatile player. So I did a lot from I'm a piano to classical music to R&D mm. to your Makazi, King Monad. I That's went dope. all out yes. and it was all about finding my my crowd, finding my audience, what they resonate to, what they like. Yeah. And yeah, eventually I was like, okay, they like this more than that. And yeah. So it was just a trial and error type of thing? Yes. And look at you now sitting here with all that success, honey. <laughs> having discovered yourself. You know the vibes. It's beautiful. Well done, Maremo. Please keep on making us proud. Because the thing about our South African content creators such as yourself, you don't just keep it here. It literally goes global, mm. which is the most beautiful thing to see. Yeah. So well done. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I told you we were going to be celebrating people who are doing the absolute most. One such person being Maremo with Ama Violin. And the lovely thing is that he is not going anywhere my friend is going to give you a taste of that very thing where he found his niche but first i want to tell you about how you can be a winner with tiktok it's so easy for you to hopefully be the winner of 5000 rand in cash all you got to do is head on over to our tiktok video using hashtag tiktok discover yourself and answer this question have you ever wanted to play a musical instrument and if so which one did you hear that which musical instrument have you ever possibly wanted to play? Give us your answer. And my friend, you could possibly win yourself that 5,000 Rand with TikTok. And it is so easy to do so. And like I said before, TikTok is not just a place for entertainment. No, it is all about that self-discovery. It is about finding that unique self-expression as well. Stick around. There's a whole lot coming all from this king right here, Maremo.